different without Dick Vermeule, and I think it's more uh, than just a loss for the Eagles. I think it's a loss for the city of Philadelphia, too. And because Dick Vermeule did so much to encourage our town's winning spirit, tonight we have a very personal look at the life and the career of Dick Vermeule. In an emotional and exclusive at-home interview, Dick Vermeil and his family talk candidly about life after the Eagle. Uh, we don't take the time to say, hey, I love you, and I appreciate what you've done for me. And it's wrong. Extra, extra. Also tonight, classified love. A between-the-lines look at why an amazing number of respectable Americans are saying personal ads are no longer the last hope for the lonesome loser. And in an effort to overcome the winter chill, Sheila Allen steps into some hot water for a steamy report on hot tubs. As we wish you a very warm welcome to this week's edition of Ten Around Town. I guess I did. Um, 
you know, when you're growing up and you have your know, little league games or whatever it may be, and you know, dad's not there and things like that. But you know, I don't resent him for it because I realize just you know that's the way it had to be for him, and and he did what was best for everybody involved, in our family, and for himself, and that's just the way he is. I think that all three of us did feel a lot of times like, you know, this isn't fair. Everyone else's dad's is home, and our dad is, you know, nowhere. And people would say, well, where is he? What is he doing? Well, he's watching films, you know, and it was hard. It was really hard to accept as a young kid, but the older and older you get, and the more we learn to understand his personality, the more we just accepted it as fact, and that's the way it is, and it's not going to change until now. How has it felt all these years to have been married to someone who was married to his job? Uh, I didn't understand it a lot of times, why he thought he had to you know, be there so long. I couldn't see what you could accomplish in such a long day. I mean, I just didn't see how you could keep being productive after 20 hours or something like that. But that's the way he had to do it, and so uh, he's, um, we just worked it out, that's all. And it's worked out fine. Are you a tough lady? Well... Very tough. <laughs> Real strong. It's, um, uh, it's been different. I'll put it. <laughs> Dick and Carol Vermeil have been married for 26 years. They first met in high school in their hometown of Calistoga, California, where Dick was born 46 years ago. Even at an early age, Dick says he was determined to be a winner. I've always been uh, driven uh, to try to do real well. It was important to win, and uh, uh, I still remember the losses that that hurt the most all the way back to high school championship games and I think it's part of a personality that was probably transmitted through my environment my parents. Was your dad a driving force in that? Well he's a very demanding man very demanding. He very seldom ever did anything good enough <laughs> and uh, uh, if you did it and you thought it was super he'd find a way to that you could have done it better. Carol is Dick as demanding at home? I think he's just like his father I really do. He just sees things. He has eyes that, um, like, he'll walk in the house and he'll look on, see the top of the refrigerator, and they'll be, he's, he'll, he'll say, when you get time, why don't you dust that up there, you know, and stuff oh, like that. I'm not that bad. <laughs> it's the truth. Is it really? Yes, it is the truth. <laughs> so I'm going <laughs> to... So he just, and you ask the football players, there's nothing that, you can't get by with anything with him around. He sees everything. But until recently, everything didn't include the outside world. It was during the football strike when Dick and Carol took a trip to the mountains that Dick says he first discovered the beauty of autumn. He went nuts. I was overwhelmed by it. I really was. It sort of shocked me to realize that I haven't seen all this before. And uh, maybe that sounds corny, but it's a, it's a truth. And I remember talking to her, driving up there, stopping alongside the road, taking pictures Every two minutes, of this beautiful he orange tree or this beautiful yellow tree. and. And then, I mean, I, I couldn't get over uh, such color because you don't have that kind of transition in California. As the seasons changed, so did the coach. Dick Vermeil was making a decision that would drastically change his life. The decision was hard, and also the, the uncertainty that it creates. Uh, not, you know, really not having a planned future a defined schedule by the minute, by the hour, is something I, I haven't experienced in not really knowing exactly what you're going to do, knowing what you'd like to try to do, but not knowing if you're going to be good at doing it. And I, I have never been really too excited about being second best at something. And uh, so there's an air of concern that's created that didn't exist. How do you doing? I don't think you can uh, expect everything to remain the same for a long time. You. It actually is coaching seven years in one uh, in one job in the NFL is is quite a long tenure. You worked like winners. You played like winners. Sure, we won a couple we should have lost. But I'll tell you something else. We've lost a few we should have won. We're right where we ought to be. The Vermeils hope the Dick's resignation won't force them to leave Philadelphia. Dick wants to become a TV sports commentator and plans to continue to make our town his home. Whatever happens, Dick Vermeil will always be remembered for his wholehearted contribution to Philadelphia's winning spirit. If you had anything to do over again, would you do it differently? No way. Uh, 
and that I'm attached to what I've done. You happy with it? Yeah. I'm, I'm disappointed in a few things, but that we don't have a world championship here. But uh, I don't feel I failed, and uh, the relationships I have with those people are worth it. Do you feel the love from all the people of Philadelphia? Because they love you. I do.